we're going to discuss the mitochondrial chain. The mitochondrial is a very, very important organelle. It is a very important organelle. Organelle means it is a membrane bound structure which is present inside the cell. And membrane bound structures are present in which type of cells? They are present in eukaryotic cells. So mitochondria, mitochondria, plural mitochondria, singular mitochondria. Mitochondria are present in eukaryotic cells. Let me first of all go to the board. Let me give you some information about mitochondria, and then we will come back to the uh, slide again. Okay, so we will come back to the slide, and then we will discuss the slide in detail also. But first of all, let me give you people some information about the mitochondria. Mitochondria, singular, it is known as the mitochondrion. Okay, this is generally known as the power house of the cell. It is known as the power house of the cell because the main function of the mitochondria is to generate energy. It is to generate energy. And after generating energy, storing energy in the form of ATP, we will discuss the detail of the function of mitochondria in the chapter of bioenergetics. And inshallah, we will study it in such a manner that you will be able to uh, remember all the concepts just by attending the class. So it is one of my most uh, strong area of biology. And you can say that it is one in which I have a lot of expertise in the bio um, energetics and in the biotechnology and genetics. So inshallah, bioenergetics it is going to be a very, very interesting topic for you. There are, at present, let us see the structure of mitochondria. It is the uh, powerhouse which generates a lot of energy by breaking down glucose, by breaking down lipids, by breaking down proteins, and by producing ATPs, which are the energy stored, and then they are kept inside the body for use. Mitochondria are mainly present in eukaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cells, for those students that don't know, they are those cells that have membrane bound organelles a moment ye kaha jata hai ke uh, membrane bound organelles membrane jin mein nucleus hota hai to generally hum kehte hain membrane bound organelles jahan pe hote hain that is generally a eukaryotic cell it is a eukaryotic cell mitochondria is a kind of uh, ovo in shape, it is kind of rectangular and a kind of uh, uh, long cylindrical shape. And inside the mitochondria, when you observe the mitochondria, it has a double membrane. Okay. The outer membrane, write it down, all of you, the outer membrane of the mitochondria is very smooth. Inner membrane is longer than the outer membrane. So what happens? The inner membrane is folded. Okay? The inner membrane is folded. Okay? And it forms shelf-like structures. Summary should have very detail padenge. It forms shelf-like structures which are known as cristi. तो ये पहले भी बताया था जब हमने सिस्टरनी के बारे में पढ़ा था तो इसमें मैं आपको ड्रॉ करके थोड़ा सा बता देती हूँ कि माइटोकॉन्ड्रियन इज अ डबल मेम्ब्रेन स्ट्रक्चर यहाँ पर मैं ड्रॉ करती हूँ जनरली जो है वो माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया का जो है वो सॉरी माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया का जो है वो हमारे पास जो है वो शेप जो है वो किस तरह की है खैरी ना ये आ गया हमारे पास और ये हमारे पास माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया की एक्सटर्नल लाइनिंग आ गई हमारे पास ठीक है नजर आ रहा है दिस इज द एक्सटर्नल लाइनिंग और फिर इंटरनल लाइनिंग माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया की मैं बना देती हूँ इस पेन के साथ और इस पेन के साथ ये बड़ी है तो ये कुछ इस तरह करके अंदर से इट इज गोइंग टू बी फोल्ड ठीक है ये वाले ये क्रिस्टी है ठीक है और इनके ऊपर 
हमारे पास खास किस्म के पार्टिकल्स हैं पार्टिकल्स जो हैं वो क्या हैं यहाँ पर मैं निशान लगा देती हूँ ये ये खास किस्म के पार्टिकल्स हैं विच आर नोन एज ए पार्टिकल्स ठीक है ये जो पार्टिकल्स है ये हमारे स्ट्रॉन्ग पार्टिकल्स इनको कहते हैं एफ पार्टिकल्स इनको कहते हैं यहाँ पर दे प्रोड्यूस एंजाइम्स नाउ दिस स्पेस ओवर हियर यहाँ पर ये स्पेस जो है ये जो स्पेस है दिस स्पेस दिस स्पेस इज नोन एज द इंटर मेम्ब्रेनल स्पेस बहुत सारे रिएक्शन इस इंटर मेम्ब्रेनल स्पेस के अंदर होते हैं बहुत सारे रिएक्शन आपका जो मेन माइट्रोकॉन्ड्रियम का जो एक प्रोसेस है विच इज नोन एज द इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट चेन यहाँ पर इसको देखते हैं इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट चेन वो हमारी यहाँ पर होती है ई सी टी जो हमारी इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट चेन है वो यहाँ पर हमारी जो है वो यहाँ पर जो है वो हमारी चल रही है ठीक है ठीक है तो यहाँ पर हमारे पास जो है वो इंटर मेम्ब्रेन स्पेस आ रही है नाउ लेट गो बैक टू द प्रेजेंटेशन अगेन और फिर मैं आप लोगों के लिए प्रेजेंटेशन जो है वो and we will discuss the presentation all of it you can hear the doctor neel when more to the manufacture and supply of energy can you hear me loudly now i am speaking loudly and it is a powerhouse of the cell the number in shape and the internal structure of mitochondria very 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 widely i will ask you question about this the number and shape and internal structure of the mitochondria varies very very uh, widely according to the structure generally under the electron microscope the mitochondria when we observe it it is seen to be a rod shaped structure and rod rod shaped structure it is made up of two membranes this is the outer membrane be very careful about this this is the outer membrane this is the inner membrane which is very long and enfolded in uh, and it increases the surface area a lot ठीक है तो ये इनर मेम्ब्रेन है ये हमारे पास सेंटर में क्या है सेंटर में हमारे पास यहाँ पर लिक्विड है मैट्रिक्स ये आपका मैट्रिक्स है दीज आर द क्रिस्टी दीज आर द क्रिस्टी दिस इज द मैट्रिक्स वे आर पार्ट ऑफ द रिएक्शन इज गोइंग टू टेक प्लेस एंड दिस इज द क्रिस्टी and the electron transport chain is going to take place between these two areas this is the intermembrane space the space between the inner membrane and the outer membrane is the intermembrane space the mitochondrion is bound by two membranes the outer membrane is smooth the while the inner membrane is very long and forms the enfoldings and the inner chamber of the mitochondria is called the mitochondrial uh, matrix these enfoldings are called cristi ye jo enfoldings hain they are called cristi theek hai mitochondrial matrix inner membrane enfoldings cristi outer membrane intermembrane space ye main cheeze hain jo humne abhi dekha hai the mitochondrial membranes are similar in structures to the other cell membranes they are to contain dna as well as ribosome the mitochondria contains its own personal dna because the mitochondria jo hai it has to produce a lot of enzymes so it becomes self dependent in this case and isi tarah uske apne ribosomes bhi hain ribosomes isliye hain aur ribosomes mitochondria mein jo hai unka size kya hai 70s जब हमने स्टार्ट किया था उसमें पहले आपको बताया था कि एटीएस एंड सेवेंटी एस राइबोजोम्स हैं सेवेंटी एस राइबोजोम्स आर प्रेजेंट इन प्रोकेरियोट्स एंड एटी एस राइबोजोम्स आर प्रेजेंट इन यू कैरियोट्स बट माइट्रोकॉन्ड्रिया एंड क्लोरोप्लास्ट दे हैव राइबोजोम्स व्हिच शो द प्रेजेंस ऑफ सेवेंटी एस व्हिच इज सिमिलर टू प्रोकेरियोट्स ठीक है सेवेंटी एस राइबोजोम्स हैं अपना डी है 
so that the mitochondria it becomes self sufficient for the huge number of enzymes that it requires ठीक है the cristi in the mitochondrial matrix have small knob like structures which are known as f1 particles these f1 particles are very very important these f1 particles are made up of special types of jo hai particles they are also called stock particles stock s t a l k stock particles they are called stock particles and these are actually involved in uh, enzyme synthesis which enzyme atp synthetase i will go back to the board and write down these things for you people first of all let us observe the let us read the uh, presentation the size and number of mitochondria varies and depends on the physiological activity of the cell now let us go back to the board now let me explain to you people on the board what the story of mitochondria is all about note down the extra information i hope you people can hear me very loudly okay the mitochondria are generally rod shaped structures and the length of the mitochondria let me write it on the board here they are rod like and the length is variable it varies from about to a very small measurement to to micrometers in length and diameter is the same 0.5 to 1 micrometer in diameter theek hai 2 to 5 micrometers in length theek hai length to ye kind of thoda sa jo hai na wo banta hai jaise ki hamare paas wo hai ek rectangular sa banta hai and 0.5 to in uh, diameter theek hai 0.5 to 1 in the diameter theek hai okay ab isme kya hai ki the mitochondria i have told you people that it is made up of two membranes na ab ye pura lecture dobara se board ke upar main karwa rahi hu it is made up of two membranes the outer one is smooth the inner one is folded but both the membranes are phospholipid membranes just like the cell membrane very important one both of the membranes are phospholipid membranes theek hai it is a bilayer and each membrane it is made up special types of protein i told you when we were studying the cell membrane that the uh, cell membranes are similar in uh, uh, nature but they vary in the type of protein the special types of proteins that are present in the mitochondrial membrane are known as porins these are known as porins and these porins are actually embedded proteins embedded proteins they are embedded proteins they are fixed inside the layers they are present between the layers they are embedded proteins and the function kya hai write it down the function of the porin proteins is that they help to transport materials across the membrane they help to transport materials across the membrane theek hai number 1 they help to transport the materials across the membrane they act as carriers of certain materials then they also allow the free passage of some materials across the membrane you have this written in your books also they also allow the free passage of materials across the membrane into the inner space into the inner membrane space into the stroma and into the inner membrane space materials are transferred across the membranes the inner membrane of the mitochondria is folded inwards and it is known as cristi and those of the inner membrane are known as cristi and this inner membrane is semi permeable it doesn't allow materials to freely pass across it is semi permeable it doesn't allow materials to easily pass across theek hai the cristi or the folds which serve to increase the surface area any kind of surface if it has very large surface area it becomes more efficient kaise main aapko batati hu let me draw it on the board for you people ye dekh hamare paas ek ye surface 
ये एक मोटी सी सर्विस है ठीक है और इस सर्विस पे देर इज अ रिएक्शन प्लेस अब इस सर्विस को हम अगर खेच लें और इतना लंबा तो आप मुझे बताइए रिएक्शन जो है वो ज्यादा जो है वो इसमें होगा नंबर वन में या नंबर टू में मुझे बताइए आंसर दीजिए इन द चैट बॉक्स विल द रिएक्शन टेक प्लेस इन नंबर वन और नंबर टू विल इट बी फास्ट इन नंबर वन और नंबर टू येस आई हैव गॉट एन आंसर नंबर टू ओके साधिया वेरी गुड बेटा नंबर टू एनीबडी एल्स एनीबडी एल्स एनीबडी एल्स कैन गिव मी एन आंसर राइट नंबर टू इज द करेक्ट आंसर वी हैव अनदर आंसर येस बेटा शाबाश शाबाश अयास नंबर टू सो number 2 is the correct answer this is the correct answer why because it has a very large surface area it has more surface area exposed look at the surface area it has more surface area exposed so because it has more surface area exposed it is going to carry out more surface exposed means more efficient reactions more efficient reactions now this is the same case in the mitochondria the inner membrane of the mitochondria is very thin it has a large surface area exposed which means k it is going to carry out many reactions it is going to carry out many reactions now on the inner surface we have the stock particles the stock particles are the f1 particles these stock particles they are also known as the f1 particles in the main function kya hai they produce a very important enzyme which is known as atp synthetase atp synthetase ka jo function hai wo hum inshallah padhenge uh in the chapter of bioenergetics in addition to this there are other several enzymes which are present inside the mitochondria but we will just be focusing on the enzymes that are involved in the process of respiration theek hai yahan par aapke paas mitochondria mein jo reactive sites hain reactive sites of the mitochondria wo hamari kaun kaun si hain aap dekh lijiye inner aapke paas jo hai inner jo matrix hai वहां पर भी आपके पास एंजाइम्स हैं ठीक है द मैट्रिक्स जो है व्हिच हैज एंजाइम्स प्रेजेंट देयर आल्सो एंड जो हमारा क्रेप साइकिल है हमारा क्रेप साइकिल जो है इट इज टेकिंग प्लेस इनसाइड द माइटोकॉन्ड्रियल मैट्रिक्स क्रेप साइकिल व्हिच इज द सेकंड फेज ऑफ रेस्पिरेशन इट इज टेकिंग प्लेस इनसाइड द माइटोकॉन्ड्रियल मैट्रिक्स electron transport chain which is the main energy conversion step it is taking place in the intermembranal space intermembranal space it is taking place in the intermembrane space now these two main reactions they are taking place in the mitochondria let us go back to the slide and let me tell you people the the functions of this uske baad fir hum wapas aate hain board ki taraf if there is any question you can drop the question for me in the uh, message box theek hai and if you want to uh, see something more i am going to upload this video i don't know about the sound quality of the video but however it will be present on you for youtube so you will be able to get the lecture on the youtube also mitochondrial matrix contains in it a large number of enzymes coenzymes organic and inorganic salts it helps in the vital metabolic processes like krebs cycle aerobic respiration and fatty acid metabolism energy extracted from the food is transformed into energy rich compound atp which is adenosine triphosphate the atp then provides energy to the cell on demand now look here this is the matrix this is where the ribosomes in the dna are present take a screenshot of this slide because this is a very good diagram of mitochondria these are the stock particles these stock particles they are they have a, a, a attachment point and a knob ठीक है इनका अटैचमेंट पॉइंट एंड नॉब है जो कि इसके इसको होल्ड कर लुक हियर एफ नॉट पोर्शन एफ वन पोर्शन ठीक है दिस इज द अटैचमेंट पॉइंट एंड दिस इज द नॉब ऑफ द स्टॉक 
particles. This is a very good uh, uh, diagram of mitochondria. The ATP then provides energy to the cell on demand. DNA, ribosomes, mitochondrial matrix, outer membrane, inner membrane, intermembrane space, twisty, and F1 particles, also called the stock particles. Now, the next topic that we will be discussing is the nucleus. If you want to ask me any question regarding mitochondria, aap mujhse puch sakte.